Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. A yummy yummy yum. 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 Guess what? I'm back at A3 for the solstice. So I'm taking a look at these uh, 70s stone blocks. It's another one. Most people film the uh, so-called ancient stones here, but I'm filming the 70s stones. 70s stones again. There's quite a few of them. It's supposed to mark where ancient stones once stood. Interesting shape. Let's try and walk in front of my camera then. <laughs> Excuse my language. Are you viewing enjoyment? One of the 70s uh, stones again. Uh, one of the so called ancient stones again. These have all been put back up right at some point. Probably fell over loads of time. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows the history of this place? But anyway, these ones are from the 70s, I believe. There's another one down here. See the village in the background? There you go, there's another one there. You guys, some of you guys might remember me walking on this riverbed when it was absolutely bone dry when I come up here earlier in the year. 
um, near Avery. A bit different now. So you may well have seen this bit of the path in my videos before. It's one of the only bits, one of the only bits, one of a few bits that do actually go down on the way up, but it's like going back up again in a second. Okay guys, well I'm going to make myself some uh, pork sausages, I've got six here, I've got the um, gas thermal um, case for my C500 Coleman's gas can to help it flow better in the colder weather, uh, I've got my frying pan and I'll get uh, be getting these on the go now, I've got um, some of this to spray some oil, uh, sunflower oil spray on the uh, pan first okay guys that's the gas on the go get the sausages on get my fork almost ready Right guys, I've actually put a dongle, a uh, Wi-Fi dongle up in the tree, a uh, 4G one, uh, to get some better signal uh, while in my tent. Because sometimes when you're lying down in a small tent like this, low to the ground, you can almost get some signal, but quite not. You have to stick it up at the top of the tent if you're lucky. Uh, but yeah, I thought that might work, but at the moment, um, yeah, I'm getting no, um, no internet at the moment. Sorry, it's a bit blurred. Well guys, I think they're just about ready now. Morning folks, well I hope you like that time lapse. I'm uh, just going to make myself um, a cup of tea. I've put some hand warmers in my um, gas canister um, cover to um, make it a little bit warmer in there and that should help the gas flow even more because obviously in the mornings it's very cold, especially in December. Okay guys, well the gas is flowing, not as fast as I like it to but it is actually flowing and if I didn't have the cover on, 
those heat pads in there probably would be too slow to boil the water. I certainly wouldn't have been able to do it with those cheap 99p gas cans uh, without a cover. So guys, I've got some honey to put in my coffee and this is the coffee I'm having. Okay guys, I don't think my uh, droning came out too well this morning, but oh well. I'm just going to have uh, these burgers with cheese, I haven't got any rolls, I've got to put the rolls in. Uh, just put some oil in the pan, I'm just going to get it on the go. Okay guys, so that's the burgers on. Looking good, and my thermal cover with the heat pads in on my gas uh, can is working really well guys link in the description for that cover well the sun's actually coming up now those burgers are still on the go they should be ready soon then I'll get the tent down well guys these burgers are definitely ready now so I'm going to get those off put some cheese on them and get some sauce on them and put them on the uh, tin foil in here and eat them. Well, they were good. To clean the pan, I put some uh, water in there, clean it off a bit, and boil it up. guys picked everything up everything packed away and rubbish in the bin bag uh, rubbish bag there nothing left on the floor no trace as you see as it was when I arrived here Right guys, well I'm at the source of the River Kennet at uh, Avebury 
This is a spiritual uh, spring site. As you can see over there in the trees, there's an, uh, um, a weaved archway out of um, branches, twines or whatever on the other side. And the river is in full flow. Uh, most of the time when you come here in the summer solstice, this will be pretty much dry, uh, not much water at all, almost dry. Um, but this time of year, there's quite a bit of water in it. And um, this is the uh, winter solstice, folks. It's a year in Avery. Anyway, just I'm back in Avery uh, Stone Circle. Um, so busy. There was even um, a group of people playing music at the pub. Totally different to last uh, when the solstice. There was no one here. Virtually nobody here. Um, a few, four, five people. We're not joking. And the car park's absolutely full up. All the car parks, all the ridgeways, got loads of people. I mean, it is a rare event this winter solstice, so um, doesn't surprise me. Um, a lot's happened this year, so yeah, I'm probably going to sign off the video now. I hope you've liked the video, and if you do, I've got many more videos like it. Um, please do subscribe, like comment yeah if you comment that helps out a lot as well i think it helps out with the algorithm um because i make money through the adverts so if you actually watch the adverts that helps me out a lot it doesn't cost you anything it takes me ages to put all these uh videos together so I'd, yeah i really appreciate that especially if you subscribe as well if you haven't already so yeah thanks for watching and um hope you have a better 2021 if you see anything I've used in this video, like my camping gear that you like, uh, links will be in the description where you can buy it. That would be much appreciated if you do, and it helps out me making videos.